Up in the morning early was, and still is, the old army call. We are watching some stalwarts from the Royal Scots Greys, the famous heavy cavalry, formed nearly three centuries ago. At one time, they were mounted soldiers trained to fight on foot and took their name of dragoons from a weapon called a dragon, a species of short musket. But there's lots to do to get the horses ready for the tattoo. Though they have good coats, they need constant attention to keep them in 100% condition. Now we're off to the practice ground, just to give the jumps the ones over and keep both men and horses in training. Very necessary in these mechanical days, I can assure you. An army marches on its stomach, so the old saying went, and dragoons are no exception. Eats are most important, and there's nothing like riding for putting an edge on your appetite. More riding now, hard riding too, for they're preparing for the big Tidworth tattoo, and everything must be spick and span for the great turnout. Incidentally, it was the dragoons who so distinguished themselves at Waterloo when they made the famous charge against Napoleon with the Highland infantry clinging to their stirrups. And even more famous was their immortal charge at Balaclava. In 1704, the Scots Greys actually had a woman serving, a Mrs. Christian Davis, the wife of a soldier. After some years, mostly on active service, she was wounded by a shell from a French mortar at the Battle of Ramillies, when her sex was discovered. She was, of course, discharged, and on returning to England, Queen Anne gave her a pension of a shilling a day. She died in 1739 and was buried with full military honours at Chelsea.